Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. I'm excited to bring you this video today. If you remember a little while back, if you subscribed to my channel, you probably remember uh, my video that I brought you showing you that my Venus flytrap had sprouted a mystery plant. That mystery plant turned out to be this beautiful little cephalotus here. And you can watch my other video and kind of see how it all happened, how I found it. I don't really understand what happened or how this plant got in this pot. It's kind of a mystery to me. It's a it's an awesome mystery and I'm super excited that it's here. It's doing really, really well. It's growing really beautiful. So I just wanted to bring you an update on that today and talk a little bit about how we're gonna tackle this sort of situation in the future. The reason it's a topic of discussion is because these two plants are quite a bit different from each other. The cephalotus is an Australian pitcher plant and they, they grow natively in Australia and they don't really have a dormancy period. They're more of a tropical plant where the Venus flytrap in itself is not a tropical plant. They need a cold dormancy period and, and we need to make sure that they, they go through a couple months in the winter time, usually 10 to 12 weeks of, of a cold dormancy period where they store some energy in their rhizome and they come out in the spring and are ready to go and, and start their growing season where these cephalotuses they don't need that they don't need to go through a dormancy period so as you can imagine we have a couple of plants here in a pot that don't necessarily belong together most people would not put their venus flytrap in the same pot as a cephalotus because they just don't go together now mine just happened to be growing by chance my cephalotus popped up months after I planted my Venus flytrap, how it got in there. I don't know because it's not around any other cephalotus plants. I don't know how the seeds or, or whatever got into the soil or the substrate for this Venus flytrap, but we have a situation now. We have a Venus flytrap partnered up with a cephalotus. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year-round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. So now we have to decide how, how are we going to tackle this in the future? What are we going to do? Are we going to repot both of these right now they're both growing so well and so beautifully you can see both are super healthy these have been growing outdoors in full sun and as you can see the cephalotus is colored up really really nicely the venus flytrap is doing really well typically i would say that a venus flytrap probably needs a little more water than a cephalotus so i've been kind of nervous with these two growing together as i've been probably giving it a little more water than i would typically but the fact that this cephalotus is just growing and growing and this new one popped up here and the lid is open that tells me that it's actually pretty healthy and it's doing really well that means it's not overwatered, it's not underwatered, it's getting just the right amount of water and you can see the venus flytrap is actually really green it's got really good color it's nice red traps and you can see there's a lot of new growth coming in for this venus flytrap so both plants are actually super healthy they're both doing really really well but the problem is is they can't coexist forever so I have two options. I can either repot both of these into separate pots, or I could pull one out and leave the other, um, or I could skip dormancy for this Venus flytrap this year, and then just let them grow together until next, the end of next growing period, and then separate them. Uh, there's kind of some different options here, and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, maybe you guys can sound off in the comments and let me know what you would do, or how you would tackle this situation. Uh, would you separate these right now, going into dormancy? Uh, obviously, I can't put this Venus flytrap in dormancy until it's separated from this. Would you skip dormancy this year for this Venus flytrap and maybe bring it inside and put it under a strong grow light and uh, let these kind of coexist until the next dormancy period and then separate them? Or how would you how would you handle it? I'm just curious to hear how some people out there who have maybe grown both of these would, would handle the situation. But look, you can get down here. You can see the cephalotus is really beautiful. It's doing really, really well. It's got a lot of baby pictures down here. It's growing really well under this Venus flytrap. It's coming in nicely. This is a nice, you can see there's, there's my finger. So it's not a huge picture, but it's definitely getting bigger. So the cephalotus is doing really well. It's spreading, it's getting bigger. And I would imagine that this pot's gonna be pretty crowded here before too long, but I still think that we could probably survive through the winter and through next summer and they could coexist. But 
I'm not sure if I should do that. What do you guys think? Go ahead and sound off in the comments. I just wanted to bring you this quick update. Let me know what you think. And make sure to uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff helps me out a ton. Uh, make sure and subscribe so I can continue to give you updates on these cool plans. Um, this one in particular so you can see what I decide to do and uh, how I decide to move forward. And we can see how they, they either coexist or how they do when I separate them. But either way, I hope to catch you guys in my next video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.